Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I'd like to welcome you to episode 46 of Doodle Gems. This episode we are doing pink diamonds. They're a very pretty and special stone to do for someone that you care about. Come on, I'll show you how easy it really is to do them. So we're going to get started here. And this time I am going to use a template for my circles. And the reason why is I want to have three circles that are relatively close to each other in size because I want to do a heart for the setting. So we'll have three circles, one, fairly close together, two, and then right below, we'll get the third one, three. Now doing that just gives us a bit more of a guideline to go with. And these are tiny diamonds, they're small you have more of an impression of the shiny sparkliness of it. You don't have to draw every little triangle facet that's going on in here. It's more about the color. So I am going to be putting in an impression of that top center and it's a hexagon-ish type shape, sort of a six-sided shape. And it would be dead center if I were a jeweler, but I'm not. I'm doodling and I'm having fun doing it. So there we go. Starting off just like that. I'm starting with the blush pink and in the centers, I'm giving them a bit of a blush pink. And I'm doing all three of these little guys at the same time, going from one to the other to the other. That way, when I set this color down, I don't have to immediately turn around and pick it back up. I'm trying to be efficient. <laughs> We all know how well being efficient works, right? And now coming in from the edge, it's going to have little triangles of, of color, but they're not gonna be the same size. Some are little tiny triangles and some are big ones, but it's more just getting color all the way around. And some of these might even just be lines and then a little bit more of a triangle here and there. But like I said, some of these spots could just be lines. Some of these lines might be coming from the center section. And look at that. that uh, that's already starting to look like a little gem. Doesn't take much when you work small. And remember that if you do triangles or triangular shapes, the sharp point is heading towards the center most often. If you want something that is not triangular, use your straight lines. You want to make sure that you're leaving spaces between the lines also. You want some white to still show up in this. It's part of the sparkle. There we go. And have a few of those little lines coming down off the center. Some of these are going to be darker pink. Some might be light pink. I've got a couple different colors that I'm going to use. They don't have to be identical. They don't have to be totally matched. 
That's part of the fun of this. Make them look the way you want them to look. And once you learn this technique, you can do all kinds of tiny little sparkle diamonds and gems and rhinestones and things like that. Now these pink diamonds are so sweet and they're actually pretty popular these days with people for engagement rings and sweet 16s and things like that. Now I'm going to grab the actual pink and we're going to put that in here. And that I'm not going to do as many spots But there will be a couple bigger, like little, tri big little triangles. How's that? Big little triangles. And a little bit of that pink is going in the center also. One of the things about these little, these little gems like this color moving around on the inside is what gives you that feeling of it being a sparkly little gem. It's not the seeing the facets of all the pictures that I've looked at. You couldn't hardly even tell that the gems were faceted. They just had all of this sparkle going on. which makes it fun to do for this type of a project. And then the last one. You see how I'm working my, whoops, I'm going back to that one before because I forgot to bring some of this color into the center. A Little bit of that color in the center right away. There we go. So these gems, once you've learned it, you can do all kinds of things. I know I've already said that, but it's important because you can take any three colors, a light, a medium, and a dark, and you can make any gem. Now this works with small, very small little gems. The kind that you would have, oh, like like on the side of my ring here, these, these little guys right here. Little tiny gems. Or even the center diamond on my, on my ring. If you look, it's mostly just sparkle that you see. You really don't see the facets unless you were zooming in really close on it with a jeweler's loop. So there we go. And then I'm going to grab the process red, which is really more like a um, magenta purpley type color. There's going to be just a couple spots here and there of fire. Just, and I'm just setting the pencil down and sort of very, very lightly, barely dragging it back. And then we'll do that here. Just a couple spots, a couple spots of fire, little angles. Believe it or not, we are so close to being done with these gems and going on to the setting. There's going to be a tiny bit of blending here. Just touches of it here and there. Soften up a few of those lines. I ended up not even using my white. I'm using the white of the paper as the white in my gem. There's going to be just a couple spots of
the white gel pen just for some stronger highlights especially on this stone here that I don't have as many highlights left. Look at that. All the sparkle. I think I want a couple more little sparks in this one. Whoops, that's a big spark. I don't think I like that quite so long. So we'll just blend it out a little bit. Look at that. How easy that is. And there's going to be a highlight on that spot. See how easy we can fix things. Needs a couple more dark bright. There we go. And now we are going to put a little bit of highlight and it's more little dots of light and flashes than actual lines and like on a cabochon where you would have a line and hard dot a faceted stone when they're small you just get more sparkle They almost look like little flowers or like the center of an eye. And now we are going to go ahead and get the setting put in. Look at that. It's already, the gems are already done. There we go. And I'm going to put little prongs. to hold these gems. We just work our way around. I'm putting five circles around each of the little gems. Just like that. Isn't that fun? And now we're going to put a heart, a heart wrapping around. And you could, t you could go and cut out a little paper heart and trace around it. I like my handmade, hand-drawn hearts. Just like everything else, I like to see the hand that's used most of the time. There we go. And it's not perfect. My lines are not always going to be perfect. I still love it. I still love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my curly cues on here. My part of my setting that changes every single time I do this. I have done this one now um, three times. Yeah, I've done it three times now. Which is okay, you know. I've, I have learned something every single time I've done it. And I love it. Look at that. Isn't that fun? It's like a little crown. And then I'm going to put a curly that's going the opposite outward direction. And then another little one. And the curly that's going that opposite direction. And another little one. 
so fun, so easy. And let's see, I think this one's going to come in. And you notice I'm not measuring and I am not being exact. This is not being made as a real piece of jewelry, although you certainly could doodle up a design and have it made. There's many awesome jewelers out there that love to work with people. And you notice how I'm working now down smaller and smaller my little swirls are getting tinier as I'm working down towards the tip. And one tiny little one left. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And now I'm going to go ahead and put a few lines on here. You see how I just made that match up a little bit better? Doesn't take much. It doesn't take much at all to make these. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you will know what's going on and when new videos come up. Share it with your friends. It's nice to have something to talk about with your friends. So sharing a video gives you something to talk about. You also might know somebody who would really enjoy doing this. Let's see. On the inside here, I am going to do a little line, not a solid line, kind of a dotted dashed line around the gems. Separate them out from the background a little bit. There's going to be just a little bit of a pattern put into the background. Sort of a hash, hash mark type pattern. Just to give it some texture. And so I'm just going to start at one point here and kind of work my way around the gems. Try and get my hand out of your way. Little lines. Just working my way around. They don't all have to match up. They don't all have to be the same length. We might have some lines here that are going really far across. And sort of radiating out from the gems. What this would do is it would give, it would make the gems actually look like they were more sparkly, depending on the type of metal that this was being worked into. And there might be places where the little rays bump in. to a previously drawn line. And for this design, that's awesome. There we go. See, we're just going to do these straight lines, little hash lines. 
You could have some closer together and some farther apart. I'm just going to work my way all the way around. And where they end up crossing into each other or bumping into each other. We'll just have them touch. Let's see. I think we're going to have one more line that way. And then we'll work these out. We're almost done. Just a couple more lines. Don't be afraid to turn your tile, turn your card. Wouldn't this be an awesome Valentine card? I think it would be a lovely Valentine card. It would be a beautiful birthday card or a wedding card, wedding shower card, all of those things. Last thing I'm doing here is I'm going to draw a bit of a line on the inside of the heart. Which makes it look a little bit like this is a bit of a box. See how that is? Looks like it's a little bit of a box. little bit of a shadow down inside. That's what we're doing. I think I want another little curly cue right in here. Just looks a little empty there. And another one right here. See, you can see things that make you go, oh, I want to fix that. And because it's your doodle gem, you can. There you are, my friends. Beautiful Valentine shower gift card, whatever you want it to be. Lovely little pink diamonds for a Valentine friend. I would love it if you would click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends, leave me a comment, let me know. Do you have a favorite gem? Is there something else you would like to see me draw? And remember to go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so that you can take care of those around you. Bye-bye.